Please all stand as we now pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. All together, O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Faithful Heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. In union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, I offer them through the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of March. For new martyrs, let us pray that those who risk their lives for the gospel in various parts of the world might imbue the church with their courage and missionary drive. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please be seated for a while. Can you introduce? Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is Holy Wednesday. Please all stand as we welcome our Mass presider, Reverend Father Danichi Wee.
We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess so to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me lord in your great love answer me insult has broken my heart and i am weak i looked for sympathy 
but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they give me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Please all stand for the Holy Gospel. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, what are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into this dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. For those 
who have followed my reflections or homilies these past two days, these past two days, all of my reflections were about Judas Iscariot. We all know that, or we all know what Judas did to Jesus. We know that. And because of his betrayal, he could seem as the antagonist of the story. Antagonist, the contrabida in the story. But for some reasons, I made him the protagonist, at least in my reflection, in my homilies. The Bida. I made him the Bida in my reflection. And this is to emphasize that there is something to learn even from the mistakes of others and more so on our own. There is something to learn in the mistakes of others and more so on our own. So for those who were not able to follow my reflection, I'll give you a review. Review po tayo. Last Monday was the story of Mary of Bethany who poured an expensive perfume on the feet of Jesus. You remember that story? For those who have uh, went to church and uh, heard the gospel, it is about the Mary, it is about Mary of Bethany who poured in the, an expensive perfume on the feet of Jesus. Nang dahil sa pagmamahal, nagawa niyang ibigay ang lahat kay Jesus. Lahat. Hindi nagkwenta at hindi nang hinayang sa kaya niyang ibigay. Pero, iba ang tinignan ni Judas. Si Judas, hindi kay Jesus nakatingin, kundi sa pabango. Kaya nga, nakwenta niya kung magkano ang halaga ng pabango. Sa pabango niya, nakita ang halaga. Kaya ang tingin niya sa pabango, mahal. Si Maria ng Betanya, kay Jesus nakatingin. At ang tingin niya kay Jesus, mahal. Pag-ibig. Si Judas, nakatingin sa pabango. At ang tingin niya sa pabango, mahal. Kasi tatlong daang denaryo ito. Oh, sabi ko nga, yung conversion nito sa panahon ngayon ay 40,000 to 50,000. Not pesos, but US dollars. So that's more than 2 million pesos sa 40,000 na computation. That's how expensive the perfume that Mary of Bethany poured onto the feet of Jesus. Imagine, binigay lang 2 million. E tayo nga, eh, hindi magbibigay ng 2 million. Huh? I'm sure. But you can give if you will only see love. Ibibigay mong lahat. Makakaya mong lahat. Higit pa sa dalawang milyon. Basta may pagtingin kang pagmamahal. But Judas did not see Jesus. What did he see? The perfume. The object. At yun ay mahal. Yesterday, we reflected on the weakness of Judas. What is the weakness of Judas? Money. Money. Thus, we saw him as a prisoner of money. Hindi siya makatakas sa pagkakakulong niya sa pera. Kaya lahat ng bagay may katumbas sa kanya. Magmula sa pabango hanggang sa pakikipagkaibigan kay Kristo. Lahat may katumbas na pera. Magkano ang halaga ni Kristo? 30 pieces of silver. Yung pabango, magkano? 300 
denarius. Di ba? Lahat lagi may pera. And today, we step back. Atras tayo ng kaunti from the story of the Last Supper that we heard yesterday. No? Yung kwento ngayon, ito yung baga prelude. Bago nangyari yung Last Supper, atras tayo, this is what happened. And this is what we heard. We heard how Judas went to the chief priests and asked them, What are you willing to give me if I will hand him over to you? Anong kaya niyong ibigay kung ibibigay ko sa inyo si Jesus? And they answered, 30 pieces of silver. Sa madaling salita, nakipagnegosasyon o nakipagtawaran si Judas, prinesyohan niya o nila kung magkano si Jesus o ang kanyang pakikipagkaibigan kay Jesus. Dito natin masasabi na nagpakilala si Judas sa halagang tatlumpung pirasong pilak. Di ba? May mga ganyan tayong expression ngayon. Oh, nakilala. Oh. Nakilala sa halagang limandaan. Oh. Nakilala sa halagang isang daan. Oh. Ganyan, di ba? May ganyan tayong expression. And Judas also nagpakilala sa halagang tatlumpung pirasong pilak. E eh, gano'n ba katatagal yun? Saglit lang ang pera sa panahon ngayon, di ba? Pansin mo yung isang libo, no? mabariyahan lang, wala na. In all these stories of Judas, one thing we could reflect on is the wrong choice he always made. The wrong choice he made. If we could notice, it always boils down to his weakness. Money. Material. And this is the reason why all his actions are leading towards his weakness. And this is what we could learn. And this is what the story of Jesus would want to teach us. That our weaknesses affect our actions and choices. Our weaknesses affect our choices and actions. Kapag kahinaan mo ay bisyo, lahat ng gagawin at desisyon mo papunta sa iyong bisyo. Lahat ng kinikita, lahat ng oras, panahon, lakas, kahit yung isip mo lagi bisyo. Tingnan mo yung may bisyo, no? Makakita lang ng gamit, ibebenta. Bakit? Sa bisyo. Para sa bisyo. Hindi na makakilos kapag wala yung bisyo. Ganun din, kapag kahalayan ang kahinaan mo, lahat ng maririnig at makikita mo sa taong yon puro kahalayan. Kasi yun yung kahinaan eh. And same thing with money. Kapag kahinaan mo pera, oh, lahat, pera, puro pera. Paano ko, paano ko makakupit dyan? Paano ko kikita dyan? May mapapala ba ako dyan? Ano makukuha ko dyan? Ganyan. Yan yung laging isip. O kapag kahinaan mo chismis, oh, di ka pa nagsisimula magtrabaho, nagbubulungan na kayo. Diba? Alam mo ba? Oh, eto nga. O, oh, ba? Ganun eh. Anything. Anything. May kanya-kanya tayong kahinaan. And it always affects our actions and choices. So it is best to know your weakness and hold on to it so that you may control it. Hold on to your weakness that your weakness may not hold you. Control your weakness so that your weakness may not control you. My dear brothers and sisters, like Judas, we all have our own weaknesses that always affects our decisions and choices and even our actions. But 
we are also being reminded that we have Jesus. We have Jesus to draw strength from, which Judas failed to see. Ito'y nakakalungkot. Lagi ni Judas kasama si Jesus, pero lagi niyang nakikita pera. Kasi yun ang kanyang kahinaan. Sa halip na tiningnan niya si Jesus, sa halip na nakita niyang pakikipagkaibigan kay Jesus, sa halip na nakita niya yung kabutihan kay Jesus, nakita niya yung wala namang no, pinabayaan si Jesus. Kung nakita niya yon hindi niya makikita yung kahinaan niya. But Judas always looked at his weakness. And that is why in everything, all his choices, all his actions are leading towards his weakness. We have Jesus to draw our strength from, which Judas failed to see. And so in everything we do, never lose sight of Jesus so that we may always come up with good actions and decisions. Amen. Please all stand. In the evening of the Passover, Jesus reclines at table with the twelve apostles. The Lord is distressed, not just at the prospect of his passion, but also the failure of the apostles, especially Judas Iscariot and Simon Peter. Let us pray for the grace to be faithful as we pray and say, Lord, in your great love, answer us. Lord, in your great love, answer us. May we shun the love and idolatry of money, which lead people to exploit the poor and the powerless, and make them disposable and dispensable. We pray. Lord, in, in your, your great love, love answer, answer us. May we not enter into darkness and into the power of Satan, by our betrayal of the Lord and our brothers and sisters, we pray. Lord, in, in your great love, answer us. May we reject the ways of Judas, who betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. May we not turn traitor to our conscience, to our country, and to our oaths for political power and financial gains, we pray. Lord, in, in your great love, love answer, answer us. May we prepare to eat your Passover meal at the Last Supper tomorrow through our love and devotion to the Holy Eucharist, we pray. Lord, in, in your, your great love, love answer, answer us. May we celebrate the Paschal Triduum immersed in prayer and recollection and with minds and hearts renewed. We pray, Lord, in your great love, answer us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of their handy gia, and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, in your great love, answer us. Lord God, you are greater than our hearts, your grace, overcomes our weaknesses. May we celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all, with purity of mind. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, 
and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with a firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Sorry.